interrupt this action scene for Army Dad! Hi, and welcome to Army Dad. So, Army Dad, what can you tell us about being an Army Dad? Well, honestly, it's not that different for any other type of dad. I'd say probably the only different thing is that I make her do 50 push-ups every morning and every night. I want her to grow up big and strong like me. Oh, lovely. So, yeah. Well, what would you say is the most difficult year of being a father? Well, I'd say the most difficult year of being a father would be the year of birth. Lost a lot of nights of sleep over that particular scenario. And of course, there's the terrible twos, you know, and uh... <laughs> that was a nightmare sometimes. <clears throat> Say what? But it's not all bad, you know, because when she turned three, she started learning how to walk. And uh, that was just flat out adorable. <laughs> but as she grew up, she got a uh, very curious, very curious little mind. And uh, that got awkward. Very, very quickly. That is how babies made. Um, it was hard. <clears throat> I didn't. I didn't quite know how to react to uh, some of her queries. Oh. That must be hard. What's really funny about kids is uh, when they're first born, like in the first couple of years of birth, after birth, you know, they're just like, you know, you give them a present and they throw away present days, put it in the box. And I never understood that, but my daughter, the more she grew up, I think around five, she started wanting more toys. Daddy, I want a shovel. Daddy, I want a bucket. Daddy, you want a bigger bucket. Daddy, I want a bigger shovel. Daddy, we love you. And of course, with all kids, it's a nightmare to get them to go to school. I don't want to go to school. And then honestly, from there, it's just from 0 to 13, you're just trying to get them to eat their vegetables, which is always very, very difficult. And of course, after 13, they're always on their dang iPads and uh, computers and whatnot and why not. Uh, I don't know what to call them these days. I lost track after 1998. <laughs> yeah, kids and technology these days. But I bet you wouldn't trade it for the world. Of course I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. My daughter means more to me than anything else. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to go tell my daughter that she's not allowed to go to a party. Okay. Isn't that adorable? Well, bye bye everyone. Have a nice day. Army Dad will return right now. Daughter? Get back here! You're so mean! You're still not going to the party. It's so unfair! Oh, grr, grr. Oh. Daughter! You're back here! No. I said get back here! No. I'm, I'll take one of your iPods, young lady! Your iPod will be out the way to go! You hear me? You get back here! I'm gonna ground you for three years!
Did you enjoy your vegetables? No. <clears throat> Are you sure? I'm sure, 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 I'm s